Welcome to my design rationale. Wow, what an instructive and exciting exercise this has been. This unit was designed to create sophisticated links with problem-based constructivist design through an authentic context with attention to critical thinking. Web design is a creative process that encourages higher order thinking through a scaffolded process of breaking down and evaluating the client's needs, programming and artistically creating appropriate and attractive pages, and designing easy to use navigation around the site. Top of the class states that developing the fundamental ability to create outstanding achievement necessitates delving increasingly deeper into consideration by engaging the higher order thinking processes, such as analysis, evaluation and creativity. And this unit aims to create outstanding achievement from the entire class. The Wiki ePortfolio has been created to describe a unit of learning for a Year 10 ICT class based on authentic problem-based learning. Problem-based learning, or PBL, is a method of learning and teaching which allows students to focus on what they will learn. An unfamiliar problem, situation or task is presented to the students by the teacher and students are required to determine for themselves how they will go about solving the problem. This usually occurs through small group work and allows students to utilise their prior knowledge in the topic area and identify the gaps in their knowledge as they attempt to solve the problem. As an authentic learning pedagogy focuses on students collaboratively creating genuine products that are polished, professional, shared and published, the design brief was for the students to create a website for a fictional art gallery. Along with this, they are to set up a reflective journal using a different online forum as part of the final assessment for the unit. Additionally, as the authentic learning format allows the students to learn at their own pace, the unit was created to be flexible and allow a number of weeks on certain elements of the course. In each element, there will be a number of ICT tools that the student groups can choose between in order to complete the different sections of the website. A number of examples are provided, however the emphasis will be on the students choosing which program they think will be the best to complete the particular problem they are facing, and they will be encouraged to research the ICT tools in order to find the one they feel will best suit their purpose. The lesson sequences were designed to transform the acquisition of knowledge by encouraging students to try new and different programs. They also transformed the extending and refining of knowledge by taking what they had learned in the previous unit on Photoshop and using it in the web design unit. Creating a website also helps with the presentation, creation and demonstration of new knowledge as, in itself, web design is a creative outlet. The creativity involved in creating the website will help the students to engage in higher order thinking. Top of the class notes that Bloom's taxonomy classifies creating as the highest level in thinking skills. When making the website, students go through the Bloom's processes of remembering, understanding, applying, analysing, evaluating and creating. And this creates a scaffold to enhance learning and create higher order thinking skills. Working together in a collaborative group situation, with the teacher moving around helping and encouraging, will engage social constructivism during the unit. Harmer mentions that social constructivism requires both the teacher and the students to help reinforce the information being learned. Additionally, behaviourism is repetition, practice and positive reinforcement. Behaviourism is inherent in the design process as a lot of design requires repetition and practice to perfect the necessary design programs. Harmer also observes that cognitivism is where the brain loses what it has learned if it does not regard the information as important. Cognitivism will be used when the students actively engage with the programs and ICT tools creating the website. Connectivism uses common online tools and information vendors to gather information on a subject in order to understand it better. As augmented learning encourages students to research their own programs, it fully embraces connectivism. Getting the students to use a collaborative tool to create their assessment journal is an example of redefinition from the SAMA model. Miller notes that SAMA is a technology integration model that shows the way to get the most out of using technology in the classroom. He states that a teacher reaches redefinition when they cross over from doing what they've always done and just studying technology to doing what they couldn't do before. As the online tools that the students will use for their journal allow the inclusion of interactive media and collaboration along with the biographical journal, 
the online journal shows redefinition in action. The ICT tools suggested for the students to use have been chosen to transform the acquisition of knowledge by encouraging the students to choose their own programs to create the website and each of its elements. Consequently, they will have to learn new technologies and this will help them to embrace transformative learning. Many students have not yet used web design software or collaboration tools and using these tools will transform and scaffold their learning. Masters notes that the scaffolding must work at the student's level of comprehension and bring the learning into new areas of consideration. This unit has tried to create a learning design that is responsive to the profiled needs of the students. While the students are all literate enough to read any instructions, many of them have a short reading attention span and find video tutorials easier to learn from. As such, a number of video tutorials have been included. Students will also be encouraged to research fun media to incorporate in the site. Media such as art games, jigsaws, simple painting games and music for background audio will be encouraged as many of the students profiled have interests in these areas and incorporating these interests will help to motivate them to use higher order thinking and more outstanding achievement. As with any ICTs used in a class situation, ethics, safety and legal issues must also be identified. Informing the students of these issues and monitoring their behaviour throughout the unit will be imperative to both keep the students safe and ensure their own behaviour maintains a high ethical, legal and safe standard. To conclude, the ICT tools incorporated in this unit are taking the students' learning into a redefinition level with a fun, interactive learning process. Using these tools to design this unit has been a valuable way to measure their effectiveness and usability. The problem-based learning format that the unit is following also helps to create a more relaxed, fun basis for learning. To quote education researcher Sylvia Chard, one of the major advantages of project work is that it makes school more like real life. It's an in-depth investigation of a real-world topic worthy of children's attention and effort. Well, this ePortfolio and presentation has been a fun and educational experience and dare I say, I have been using my high order thinking skills and creativity a great deal in its creation and I have thoroughly enjoyed the process. I hope you have enjoyed watching and listening as much as I have enjoyed creating it. Bye! Created using Powtoon.